What if I told you that there's a type of fat in your body that actually burns calories instead of storing them? That your own fat could be your fat burning ally? Well, welcome to the weird and wonderful world of brown fat, the fat that's actually your friend. In this video, I'm going to break down what brown fat is, why it's metabolically magical, and most importantly, how you can naturally activate more of it. We're diving deep into the science, but I promise we'll keep it light, witty, and practical. And you'll want to stick around because I'll reveal a little known fact about babies, bears, and brown fat that might just rewire how you think about metabolism altogether. Plus, at the end, I'll link you to my video that shows exactly how to adopt a low carb diet so you can work with your metabolism, not against it. Let's rewind to med school for a second. I was taught how to prescribe meds, read labs, and diagnose disease. But the more I trained in obesity medicine, the more I realized our understanding of fat was way, way too flat. You see, not all fat is created equal. You've probably heard of white fat. That's the kind most people are trying to lose. It's the storage fat, your energy bank account. But when it's overdrawn, that's when trouble starts. It builds up around organs, raises inflammation, and contributes to insulin resistance. But then there's this underappreciated superhero called brown fat, or more formally, brown adipose tissue, or BAT. So what makes brown fat so special? Number one, it's thermogenic. That means it literally generates heat, and it does this by burning calories. Yes, burning to keep your body warm. This is thanks to a protein called UCP1 or uncoupling protein. Think of UCP1 like a little furnace inside your fat cells, burning fuel to create heat instead of storing it. Number two, brown fat is metabolically active. Unlike white fat, which sits there like a storage locker, brown fat behaves more like a tiny engine. It's loaded with mitochondria, those energy powerhouses you might remember from biology class and that's what gives it its brownish color under the microscope. But here's a fascinating thing. Babies have a lot more brown fat than adults. Why? Because babies can't shiver effectively to keep warm. So brown fat steps in to protect them from the cold. But adults still have brown fat too, especially in areas like the neck, upper back, around the kidneys, and surprisingly, even in lean individuals. In fact, studies show that lean people tend to have more active brown fat. Coincidence? I think not. So here's the million dollar question. Can we increase our brown fat or make the brown fat we do have more active? Absolutely. Here are several natural and science-backed ways to turn up your brown fat burners. Plus a few bonus facts you probably haven't heard. Tip number one, cold exposure. One of the most powerful ways to activate brown fat is exposure to cold temperatures. I'm not saying you need to move to Alaska, but even short, regular doses of cold can make a difference. Try cold showers, cold plunges, or just turning down the thermostat a few degrees. Studies have shown that people exposed to mild cold over time had increased BAT activity and burned more calories at rest. Why? Cold triggers your body to produce norepinephrine, a hormone that stimulates brown fat to generate heat. It's like flipping the switch on those UPC-1 furnaces. Tip number two, exercise. Yes, it helps brown fat too. While exercise burns calories directly, it also does something sneakier. It releases a hormone called irisin, which can help turn white fat into a more brown-like state. This beige fat has some of the thermogenic properties of brown fat, which means even more calorie burning potential. And here's where it gets exciting. Resistance training in particular can help convert subcutaneous fat into this beige metabolically helpful tissue. So next time you're doing squats or pushing weights, know that you're possibly browning your fat while you're at it. Tip number three, diet and nutrients that stimulate brown fat. You knew I was going here. As a low carb doc, I have to mention how your diet plays a major role. Interesting, certain nutrients and foods have been shown to support brown fat activation. One standout is capsaicin found in hot peppers. It mimics cold exposure and can stimulate BAT through similar mechanisms. 
Also interesting, some polyphenols, like those in green tea or resveratrol, may support brown fat activity. But here's the twist. A low carb diet can enhance mitochondrial function. And remember, brown fat is packed with mitochondria. That's one reason why people on keto or carnivore notice improved energy, body temperature regulation, and metabolic flexibility. Tip number four, quality sleep and circadian rhythm. This one's overlooked. Poor sleep disrupts your metabolic hormones, especially melatonin, which is actually involved in brown fat activation. Getting sunlight in the morning, dimming lights at night, and keeping a consistent bedtime can help your body optimize melatonin and support BAT health. And hey, who doesn't want another excuse to get better sleep? Tip number five, avoiding environmental toxins that harm BAT. Now here's a lesser known bombshell. Certain endocrine disruptors like BPA or phthalates can reduce brown fat function and promote white fat storage. These are found in plastics, canned food linings, and even some personal care products. Your fat tissue isn't just sitting there, it's an endocrine organ, and toxins can blunt its metabolic potential. If you're eating right, sleeping well, and still not losing weight, check your environment. For example, sometimes it's not you, it may be your shampoo. Here's a bonus insight, the baby and bear connection. Remember that teaser from earlier? Here it is. Both babies and hibernating bears have high levels of brown fat. Why? Because they both need to generate heat without moving much. Hibernating bears go months without food, but they don't lose muscle. And one reason is that their brown fat burns calories for warmth while preserving lean tissue. Imagine your brown fat doing that while you sleep. And speaking of sleep, one of the most exciting future frontiers in obesity research is how we can manipulate brown fat while we sleep. Infrared therapy, brown fat targeting pharmaceuticals, even wearable tech. But for now, the natural methods I've shared today are powerful and free. So let's recap. Brown fat burns calories to generate heat. You can activate it through cold exposure, resistance training, certain foods, good sleep, and a clean environment. It might just be the metabolic advantage you didn't know you had. Now imagine combining all of that with a low carb lifestyle that keeps your insulin low and your fat burning high. That's the dream team. And if you want to learn how to adopt a low carb diet step by step, I've got a full video that breaks it all down for you. You'll see it right here on the screen. Go ahead and tap that. And if this helped you, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps more people find this message. Subscribe if you haven't and drop a comment below letting me know, have you tried cold exposure or anything else to boost your brown fat? You've got more power than you think. Let's turn on that internal furnace and let the fat fight for you, not against you. I'll see you in the next one.